Tonight, KHU 11 investigates uncovers a long and tragic history of abuse involving twins in the Houston area. Last week, those twins in Cyprus escaped bondage and ran away from home looking for help. But the abuse started long before in Baton Rouge, where we now know the twins and four of their siblings were briefly put into foster care a decade ago in Louisiana. We warn you the details of what these kids went through are graphic. Investigative reporter show Mercedes in Baton Rouge trying to track down what happened to these kids and how this abuse could happen time and time again. Cheryl? Len, Mia, we are talking a lifetime of abuse that started here in Baton Rouge, the same city where their mother, Zakia Tungan, and stepfather, Jova Terrell, are now behind bars waiting to be taken back to Houston on charges that they allegedly abused the children. Photos and videos give the outside world a glimpse of the horror the 16-year-old twins suffered. What you don't see is that the abuse started long before they moved to Texas in Baton Rouge. Nobody knew. Nobody Their most recent next door neighbor, Sonia Jenkin, recalls what she now considers cries for help. My mom came over one day and she said, oh, the little girl next door asked me for some crackers. And I was like, OK, well, that's kind of weird. I was like, did you give it to her? She's like, yeah, I did. And then she came back a few days later and asked for it again. And I was just like, Maybe the mom wasn't home. Maybe she was hungry. Louisiana court documents describe the abuse the twins went through. In 2010, police were called to investigate large bruises and scabs on one of the then three-year-old's buttocks. Duncan said it was from a belt spanking and no charges were filed. Then, in 2012, Duncan was arrested after a school employee noticed one of the twins was having trouble sitting. Medical workers discovered burns and bruises on his body. Investigators later found scars and bruises on his twin sister. East Baton Rouge District Attorney Hiller Moore says the Department of Children and Family Services stepped in. All of the children, I believe, were found with different stages of injury. Duncan was charged with felony cruelty to a juvenile. But while that case was open, the six children were returned to Duncan and their father. A year later, Duncan got full custody in 2018. According to East Baton Rouge Parish court records, Duncan did not plead in the criminal case until 2019, seven years later. Do cases like this typically take this length of time to play out? Typically not, uh, but it, this was an unusual case. And in this case, our focus was on children and initially, and then moved toward the justice side of the parents. But we wanted to make sure that the children were back to healthy and normal again. Duncan pleaded guilty to child desertion and got a year probation and had to take a parenting class. Duncan divorced the children's father that same year and married Jova Terrell. The newlyweds moved to Harris County this summer where they are facing charges in this latest case of child cruelty. Did the state of Louisiana fail these children? Well, it's always uh, easy to look back in hindsight. Had I been able to know what was going to happen again in the future and the behavior would be repeated, I would have taken a different action. I am told that Duncan and Terrell will be taken back to Harris County this Friday. All seven of the children that Duncan had are now in Child Protective Services. I asked DCFS here in Louisiana for an interview and they declined. Back to you. All right, Cheryl, thank you for the update on the children.